Mick Groschel, this video is for you. Oh, hi, Ken. Ken. Hey, Ken. Ken and RJ Marsh. Really sorry I couldn't be at your roast this evening. No, it's a bukkake. Anyways, I was saying, obviously you're very important to Shauna, that little bitch over there. When I first met you, the first thing that I thought was... Yeah, dildos. Like two little sheep. Flaming homos. Bowls of oatmeal. Ken, everybody loves you. You get a whole room of people here that appreciate you as a friend. Uh, but I thought I would take this a step further and kind of find out who else knows of the great Ken Marsh. So what I thought we'd do is, uh, I'm just, I'm gonna ask somebody. I'm just gonna ask a random person. Ah, you're good. Let's ask. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, excuse me, sir. By any chance, do you know Ken Marsh? Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, by any chance, do you know uh, Ken Marsh? <laughs> Is that a yes? I'm sorry, did you say Ken Marsh? Ken Marsh. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that uh, you and me, man. What happened there? You know, you're going away. You're saying goodbye. Going back to misery or uh, Arkansas or Alabama. I have feelings too, Ken, okay? One of those states where it's perfectly understandable that two brothers would want to move away together. Do you remember that night where we held each other? Whew. RJ, RJ, I don't even know you, RJ. I don't <laughs> even know you, but you said some shit. Hey, what's up, man? And we rubbed beards. Uh, you said some shit about my boots, um, 4th of July. That was good. So you're on my list. That little list and that list is <laughs> You know, I, I have to say though, uh, I'm impressed. Three, four, five years, however long uh, you and Shauna have known each other and um, you never you never knock boots. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm really, really gonna miss you. But I tell you what, I'm never coming to visit you in Vermont. And so I'd like to just say thank you. When all is said and done, you've been a friend, you've been a pal. It's been a pleasure knowing you. Oh, and in case you're wondering, shit is tight. Refreshing. Ken, if you were here right now, I would just take you like a like a bowling ball and I would just oh and I would smother it with like gravy and like a biscuit right there just oh.